and I just love the space. Today I'm going to be making leek and, the, and wild garlic soup. We pick our wild garlic, make sure it's not here because dogs put up weed on it. Make sure it's over like Now we've got a big bundle. We're back in the kitchen and we've got the ingredients ready. And so we've got two freshly washed and cut leaves. Freshly washed and cut wild garlic. Um, four or five peeled and cut potatoes, but they're small, and one uh, cut up and peeled onion. That, and we've also got some olive oil. Uh, cooking, melting in the pan, some stock, it's quite hot, but it's one litre of stock. I've got my wooden spoon ready to stir my ingredients. So first we put our onions in the pan with the oil in and let them and cook them until soft. You can add a herbal choice you can add some herbs if you want, um, but you don't have to. Then, these bits, okay? Okay? Okay. So we're just putting the onions in. We're going to soften them for two minutes. While uh, the onion is softening, I'm going to tell you a fact some facts about our wild garlic. Do not get it mixed up with Lords and Ladies, a poisonous plant. It looks very alike to the wild garlic. Wild garlic is brilliant for you right now because it is full of vitamin A and vitamin C, calcium and iron, and it is antiviral and antibacterial, which means that you, um, it will be very good for you uh, during this period of time when the coronavirus is here. First we're going to add our cut leeks into our pan. We're going to soften them as well as the onions and wild garlic that we're going to put in now. Remember if you do make a mess um, it doesn't matter because it's cooking. Now we're just going to stir. My tip for stirring is, so you stir halfway, you get a spoonful and flip it over. Because the onions at the moment are all at the bottom. And make sure you don't flip any of the like things out. So when these are softened, softened we're going to add the potatoes and I'm going to add a spice called dill. and wild garlic has softened with the onions. So now I'm going to add my herb dill and my potatoes. Now we're going to add our stock. Be careful, this is very hot. We're going to let it simmer and cover it for 20 minutes. So we're going to make some bread to go with our soup. Um, so it's 200 grams of flour, 
one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of turmeric and some herbs. You can add whatever herbs you like. And so we're also going to add some rosemary. So how you get the rosemary in is you hold the top and you scrape. Not like that. That was just breaking it. Like that. Now you're going to stir the rosemary in. So you just carry on stirring because we want all of it stick together to make one big done. Now I'm going to add some more water. Like that one. So now we're going to take the spoon out and knead it together with our hands. I've cut it into four buns. So we take our first bun. I've added some cheese with my buns. I need some cheese with my buns. So the more you handle it, the less fluffy the buns are going to get. So now we're going to put them on our tray. We're going to cross, we're going to cut across into the buns. Because they've got no use yeast in them, um, they're not going to rise. So now I'm going to put them in the oven. Now I'm going to blend the leek and um, wild garlic soup up to make it smooth. <laughs> I've blended it up, so I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. That's our soup done now, we just have to wait till the bread's cooked. Well this is really yummy, why don't you try this video at home? Thank you for watching.